Cross Country is a train operating company providing long distance train services across the UK. It serves many key cities including Edinburgh and Glasgow in Scotland, Cardiff in Wales, Newcastle, Leeds, Manchester and Birmingham in the Midlands and North area and a variety of southwestern destinations including Exeter, Plymouth and Penzance. The main route is probably the longest one yet between Edinburgh and Plymouth which covers a staggering 566 miles in about 8 hours and 42 minutes. It calls at 102 stations, of which 99 are step free to some degree, so a pretty good percentage. And to some surprise, Cross Country is one of two operators who do not manage any of their stations. But they do run numerous key services, but I want to clarify these are generally off-peak weekday services with some exceptions, as some of these routes are really, really long. Starting in Scotland, on what was probably the longest route in the UK, we have a generally hour core service between Edinburgh Waverley and Plymouth, via places such as Newcastle, Leeds and Bristol Temple Meads. However, whilst most services originate at Edinburgh, there is a daily weekday 8.55 service which leaves Glasgow Central to Plymouth and also a daily weekday 10.54 service from Aberdeen. There is also one train a day which runs further from Edinburgh to Penzance. There is also a super early once a day service from Penzance to Plymouth calling up most stations in the southwest and also four trains a day from Newcastle to Derby via Doncaster. Three of these continue further to Birmingham and two go even further to Banbury. At Manchester Piccadilly, another major hub for cross country, we have generally a train once an hour from Manchester Piccadilly to Reading with one train a day heading via Crewe, whilst the rest head via Macclesfield, Birmingham and Reading. From Reading, every other train, so once every two hours, extends further to Bournemouth. There also used to be services to Guildford, but they look like they've been suspended now. There are also free trains a day from Manchester Piccadilly to Bristol Temple Meads in the morning and evening peaks. And this is where we head to the middle of the country. Well, sort of, at Nottingham, where we have an hourly service to Cardiff Central in Wales. There is also an hourly service from Nottingham to Birmingham New Street. There is also a once a day early morning service from Nottingham to Reading via Birmingham New Street. Now we'll probably head to the hub of cross country which is at Birmingham itself, New Street specifically, where there is an hourly service for Leicester. There is also an hourly service heading to Stansted Airport with a few other services terminating at Cambridge. And to finish it off, we also have a once a day service from Birmingham to Paynton with another early morning service joining in at Temple Meads. Cross Country has announced on its website a list of stations which no longer serves and those with limited stops in a bid to make their journeys faster and more reliable. An anytime single between Edinburgh and Plymouth will set you back £275.20 with an anytime return costing £473.40 which is ludicrously expensive. The main train maintenance centres and depots for cross country are at Birmingham New Street, Bournemouth, Bristol Temple Meads, Cambridge, Derby, Edinburgh Waverley, Leeds Leicester, Longsight near Manchester, Nottingham and Plymouth, so pretty much every major town it goes through. The new cross country franchise dates back to only 2007 but we're going to go back even further to the original cross country franchise which is much more interesting dating back to when regional railways, who were one of the divisions of the publicly owned British Rail, operated. Anyway, by the 31st of March 1997, regional railways were split up into eight different franchises as part of the privatisation of the railways. The two of interest to us are Virgin Cross Country, who ran the Intercity Cross Country franchise between January 1997 and November 2007, and Central Trains, who were owned by National Express, who ran most of the Central England and Mid Wales routes from again March 1997 and November 2007. Now this leads us to the new cross country franchise, where the Department for Transport unveiled plans designed to streamline railway franchises and it included disbanding the Central Trains franchise and transferring it to other operators. Coincidentally on November 2007 as well, the new company was awarded this new franchise, which was in this case Arriva UK. 
who, if you remember correctly, also run the Chiltern services, we can check out in the link above. What is also fascinating is that Arriva is a subsidiary of Deutsche Bahn, who are owned by the German government. Anyway, Arriva are set to run the cross-country franchise till October 2023, so later this year. According to online sources, they operate just under 100 trains, and to be precise, these include a variety of intercity 125s, which were the old high-speed train services, which everyone still loves to this day. Well, I hope everyone. A variety of Bombardier Turbo Stars, including 29 Class 170s, which are for their more local routes, and also the Bombardier Voyagers. And these are split between four and five carriage models in various classes. Other future developments include getting more Voyager trains to deal with the capacity concerns, and these are coming from East Midlands Railways. But apart from that, I can't seem to find anything else other than community-driven campaigns. Anyway, subscribe below for the next rail operator who's either going to be Great Anglia or Thameslink. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>